All right, everybody. Another installment of Project YFZ 450 2006 Special Edition. Um, as you can see, I have the clutch parts pulled out here and the oil pump. The purpose of this really is to do an inspection on the clutch. And also, I needed to get in here and change the oil pump itself as part of the oil upgrade in 2006. Did not have the oil spray nozzle. Uh, and part of that is to change the new oil pump. So I'm just going to review some real basics of the clutch here. I think some people might find interesting, maybe didn't know about. Um, starting with the actual clutch lever here, which you're pulling on with your fingers, your left hand fingers, and the cable pulls on this to release the clutch and engage it. Um, this shaft itself actually will go through the transmission here. And, uh, and push on this ball, which pushes on the pressure plate, which actually causes the clutch to release. Um, that goes all the way inside the shaft and is hidden. So I've decided to insert this snap-on quarter-inch extension to show you what's going on here. And what's happening is, is you're basically, your lever is just pushing that shaft out and pushes against the pressure plate itself here. The pressure plate compresses the, your springs and releases your clutch. Now the uh, the basket itself is on here and is always spinning at crankshaft speed. It's gear driven and spins at crankshaft speed so that represents your engine drive of the clutch and the inner hub represents your transmission drive. This is fixed to the shaft at these splines right here and what causes the separation of the two is that the fibers themselves here ride inside the basket and then the steels go onto the actual hub and like so. So what happens is when you depress that lever and that rod pushes out it forces your springs down and it causes the separation of the steels and your friction plates. And then the transmission and engine are no longer connected to one another. When you release it, the tension of your springs here pushes the pressure plate and squeezes all these together. And then you therefore have connection to your engine and transmission. So pretty simple, really. Not a whole lot to it. Um, I'm going to be leaving this all as is. Everything's in really good shape. Uh, the most common thing here is, is to replace this clutch basket with... Uh, like a Henson or a Weissico. The Hensons are basically an industry standard at this point because you'll get some grooving on the actual basket fingers here and the grooves themselves uh, start to cause clutch performance issues. Uh, the clutch will heat up. Uh, it doesn't uh, engage good and consistently. So um, the OEM ones here leave a little bit of desire. The Hensons are made out of better material. I can't say exactly. They That's one of their claims. I believe it. Um, but the other thing is it's anodized, which is a very slippery coating on the aluminum and helps the friction plates move nice and smoothly on there. So that is a good upgrade. However, it's not necessary. Everything's in really good shape here. They'll give me something to play with in the future. So I'm going to leave everything as is. Uh, I've inspected the parts. Um, just giving them a once over. High horsepower. You can get some cracks down here in the corners or you can get cracks in the plate around the spring holes, the pockets here. Um, and just some general wear and tear, of course. So uh, everything looks really good. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, so moving along to the oil pump. Um, the oil pump here is part of the upgrade for your 2004 to 2006, uh, putting the oil nozzle in. Um, so the upgrade includes this oil pump, except for there's no rotors on it. These rotors right here are what spin and naturally pump the oil. You have to transfer these over. So you're saying, well, how is it a high volume oil pump if you're using the same rotors? What's the difference? The difference is that the new pump itself has less teeth. This has 12 gear teeth. It's a different gear. This one has 13. Uh, by being less teeth, it actually uh, will spin faster. The difference being roughly 8%. This will spin about 8% faster and and that will translate to more oil pumping through your engine. Um, that is necessary because the 
oil nozzle itself, which I apparently lost here somewhere. And the oil nozzle uh, is consuming more oil because it's spraying on the bottom of the piston and the wrist pin. So we need to make up for it by spinning the oil pump faster. That was Yamaha's solution um, to increasing the oil capacity needed to operate that nozzle. So pretty neat little setup. Um, to swap these over, all you have to do is take this ring off on the shaft, swap your inner rotor or your outer rotor, take a close look at them. If the engine has been blown up or had uh, a lot of stuff running through it, these will be scored up, scratched up, and they should be replaced. Um, these are in beautiful shape because the engine is really low hour and so on and so forth. So, so yeah, that's about it. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, three five millimeter bolts are what hold it on. One's a little longer. You can see that one doesn't have the yellow zinc like the other two do. And then you have the dowel pin and an O-ring for the suction side. <clears throat> so that's about it. Those rotors will get transferred over. This will get bolted on. Clutch will be going back together. But however, I don't have the brand new Yamaha case I wanted for the side here. Like I explained in the last video, I don't have it yet. It should be delivered today. And I have to do some prep, and I actually think I'm missing a couple parts to be able to complete that. So uh, in the meantime, if anybody has any comments or wants to go more in-depth about the clutch operation or any of these parts, I'd be happy to, to go further into that. So, uh, Or maybe the nuts and bolts. It's all pretty straightforward once you open this up. Um, anybody that has any sort of mechanical skill with nuts and bolts should be able to figure that out. But if you need anything else, uh, any other questions, please comment, and uh, I could... Definitely make another video and go further into detail on some of this stuff. So I appreciate you watching. And uh, stay tuned.